Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you Sagittarius. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here in today's reading sagittarius this is more of like a daily collective reading this is an next 24 hour star reading session for you so we'll start with your overall energy checked in okay we'll look at your situation your focus and then the second part of the reading we will see what is coming towards you it could be people connection it could be love uh, a divine message maybe career but let's see okay this is for the sagittarius sign what can i get for the sagittarius sign please daily collective breathing next 24 hour star reading session for you what is the guided message that is meant for you to know what can i get for the sagittarius sign okay you have the empress card you have the ace of pentacles in here the hidden energy is the four of swords in the immediate future and advice you've got the two of wands and so we start your reading okay we start your reading sagittarius you're starting the reading with the moon card in here sagittarius um the moon card you could be dealing with family issue or feud okay very emotional this is very very emotional i think the moon card and the tower card i think it's more connected in the past energy okay um with the moon card the nine of wands and the ten of ten of cups you know I feel like your overall energy and in terms of like energy checked in with the ten of cups and the nine of wands there's a part of you that you could be reflecting upon um i'm kind of i'm, I'm feeling very nostalgic with the moon card and the tower card because i feel like you're somehow somehow you're feeling nostalgic about maybe you've got some triggers maybe certain people in the past in in the present situation is connecting with you and they they they're actually asking you about you know it, it could be like you it's possible that you you catch up with this friend and this friend of yours ask about this love situation or romantic situation or family situation and you got triggered to tell them of what took place and it made you cry it made you emotional and because you have to tell the story again to this friend of yours that you had a catch up um you have to feel the the emotions that was you know because you know this there's, there's a you know you look like you're crying it's connected to a ten of cups so nine of wands ten of cups so there was something a personal a personal situation maybe a family something romantic it could also be friendship but it's not connected to business or professional but this is something like nine of wands you're like you're very guarded about this relationship or somehow it makes you sad it makes you cry when you think about this family situation or romantic situation or could be for some of you 20 to 30 percent it could be a friendship situation but it's a personal like if you still have your heart with this situation okay you're you're sad you break up or separated because there was a ten of cups and somehow some somebody or someone or it could be maybe you're watching a movie you're watching a series or it could you, be, you could be reading something or it could be an actual person triggering you because the four of cups is like ooh, i'm remembering it so there's a part of you that the something in here is you're taken like you're taken back to a memory to an experience or a situation in the past where it looks like it's not yet okay because it's the tower card okay like it gives me a feeling that someone asks you about it and the tower card it's it's not yet okay and you have to tell the story and it got you emotional uh, like it's a struggle to tell the story you know when you tell the story you realize that you have not 
completely process the emotions or the feelings, Sagittarius. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, and this is sad, you know, like you realize that when you share the story or it could be, it could be you're watching this movie and it triggered you to remember this experience or this situation that's connected in the past and it made you cry. But like this is a reading where if you feel like crying, then go for it. If you feel like it's safe to cry with that person, go for it. You know, because it's, it's, it's emotional. Like, you know, if, if, if sometimes if we do not acknowledge what we feel and what we think, it could, it could block us. Okay. It could create tension to our body and our body remembers trauma, tension, and it's blocked there. That's why, you know, have you experienced like you want to cry, like your emotions, is running up high and you wanted to cry but you're preventing to cry and you're shaking and somehow your breathing is somehow you know um it's slowing down or like you're trembling like you i'm sure i'm sure you have experienced that like i don't want to cry so you're holding it in this attention so it could be happening right now or it could be happening soon but if you are triggered by somebody by someone of a past situation and you feel like you're, it's safe to be vulnerable with that person, go for it. So you can release the tension to your body, Sagittarius, okay? Or it could be you're watching a movie and it triggers you uh, certain memories in the past that what that is quite traumatic, you know? The tower card or it makes you feel sad. Just honor your feelings. Honor your feelings. Whatever you want to feel, honor your feelings. Cause it's, it's going to release the trap energy in your body okay that energy is so real like especially your anger especially if you you know um if you need a friend like if, if something's going to trigger you okay i feel like i'm angry because of this movie because i remember that write it down or f i'm sure you have you have a, a friend that you trust and you feel vul vulnerable but if you don't write it down it feels so good to release those anger those i don't know maybe hate for some of you guys it's a heavy word but you know we're, we're all human beings we feel hatred we feel bad we feel good we feel, we feel evil write it down if you feel like you're not comfortable to share that evil thoughts you know because i'm a scorpio so i embrace my darkness you know sometimes our mind could have some evil thoughts or evil feelings but we don't even share it but you write it down you write it down and then you rip the paper you burn it for some of you guys and it's all gone but don't let it trap in your body because it can create tension knight of cups the five of cups in you or simply talk it out to a very trusted trustworthy friend i think for some of you some someone's gonna ask you and if you feel safe you know go 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 and have a good cry or in the shower you sing and have a good cry it feels healthy or for some of you if it's anger or maybe bitterness or maybe jealousness write it down sometimes if i have this maybe dark thoughts i would write it down i will try to read it oh shame sunshine you have this dark thoughts release it gone release on my body no tension no trauma no block in my body so honor that okay that's so real like energy block that stays in your body trauma it stays in your body and our body protects us from that. So you look after yourself, Sagittarius, because it's something that might trigger you now or soon. But have a healthy release. Find a place, a person that you would be comfortable to be vulnerable with because it's, it's very helpful. Okay? Or write it down. Journal it. And read it. Especially if you're angry, read it the next day. If you're angry, angry angry bird you write it normally if i'm angry or pissed or something i would write it down the next day if i read it you know every day i write my journal and i read it oh shame did i really say this oh i'm ashamed i'm so ashamed of myself and then i kind of rip it off and then we write it again and say i have removed it and then burn it and sage okay so i have my ritual when it comes to bitter and being angry it's healthy to release it not because if you don't release it, you could project it with other people. And it's part of my job. I cannot keep being, you know, how do I say it? Like if, if, you, if you have this job, 
you have to be always as much as possible a sunshine so you be optimistic you good you, you give up optimistic and positive advice but i'm not perfect no perfect i'm doing lots of you know exercise every day spiritual exercise you know behavioral check just to make sure i give you the right advice this is a very serious job you know i've got three hundred thousand plus subscribers in my main channel this is like thirty thousand plus so i get to influence influence in some sense so i have to take this seriously so i cannot be angry i can just be a sunshine but it's okay if you have those thoughts so find a good outlet a safe outlet to release it because it could be kept in your uh body you know uh, i think there is now a practice called energetics or spinal energetics where they could release that like long long uh trauma uh that is trap emotional um trauma or energy that you don't release it it stays there so that's one way okay now okay that is your energy checked in now the second part of the reading um let's see what's coming towards you who is coming towards you what's connecting towards you you get a devil card it could be a capricorn the empress card for some of you this is quite specific if you're trying to get pregnant or if you've got the empress card the devil card if you're trying to get pregnant or whether you're male female and if you're into a baby fertility please take it seriously okay ace of pentacles in here or for some of you for some of you if you've if you feel like low energy you've got some health condition okay for some of you Sagittarius if you're into fertile if you are into fertility if you are into a healing journey if you are into some health condition that you're trying to improve working on it working it take it seriously I don't like the devil next to the Empress card okay for some of you you don't have enough sleep okay Sagittarius uh, there's something that you're working on there's something that you're working on personal health there's something that you're working on connected to wellness okay especially if it's fertility but take it seriously uh, ace of pentacles in here for some of you invest into your health health is wealth okay yeah the nine of cups I think there's something that you wish to accomplish and it's connected to wellness for some of you it's also giving me like you you know sometimes no matter how we wanted to do it maybe we don't have the energy we don't have the focus it's because we don't have enough sleep so for some of you feel like low energy low vibe uh you're grumpy you're moody you're not inspired there's something imbalance in your sleep your sleeping pattern or you're absorbing a lot of not good information because this is toxic the devil card next to the empress card this is toxicity if you're working on health fist health fitness or you could also be surrounded by toxic people detox okay take it seriously okay the universe telling you take it seriously um so much focus on health wellness and taking things seriously if you feel low spiritually okay if you feel like i'm always grumpy i'm always this i'm always that something is wrong have some energy checked in spiritual checked in have it checked or if you feel like okay you just wake up in the morning it's only 10 a.m you feel tired have it check health is wealth routine check have it check have it check proper sleep hydration stay out of people who's toxic do not watch people or situation that's toxic do not be with people or watch or listen to toxic news or toxic people or toxic digital uh i don't know digital stuff okay there's something in here that health spirituality is very important why because the magician card is in here the universe would like you to take two of ones very soon two weeks from now okay two weeks from now okay two weeks from now Sagittarius you will embark something magical something unexpected something good it's something new it's quite far it could be early part of April okay couldn't see it yet mm, six of wands eight of swords I cannot see it one more please it's an emperor card there's an emperor something someone is coming up 
this is a big decision this person will take a risk okay this person will invest on you this person will take a leap of faith or take a risk on you Sagittarius and if you want to enjoy this cycle this path with this emperor card that it's about to come into your life have your have yourself ready okay so for some of you it's fertility could be this person will give you the baby <laughs> but whatever your priority or your focus whatever your focus or priority make sure that your personal health your spiritual your physical health is looked after because the magician card the universe is redirecting you to a path where this person is willing to give it all and take a risk towards you so your energy should be prepared like this could be like i'm willing to go business with you i'm willing to go baby with you i'm willing to go relationship with you whoever this person is willing to take a risk it's gonna bet their life towards you something like that i love this energy okay so in order for you to enjoy it this magical being uh sharing life sharing business sharing partnership with you prepare now because there's something toxic in here could be sleep but stay focused okay you the universe will take you to stay focused and positive and optimistic because you having an emperor this is a guest this is the um, this is a character in your season april in your a april season that would be mind-blowing to have in your life this powerful it's an alpha it's a, it's a person that will give you what you want in short and in order for you to enjoy what you want you've got to be physically um present emotionally prepared for it okay there's something in here that's quite imbalanced look into it okay this is your reading thank you so much for supporting the channel thank you so much uh Sagittarius for your support uh please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe I'll see you soon you have a great day Sagittarius bye bye